Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Carlson. I'm a cardiac surgeon and I've been focusing on the benefits of bioidentical hormone replacement therapy using the natural estrogens and progesterones and how they are so beneficial. And a recent report out of Yale University also corroborates this. It showed that hormone replacement therapy uh, utilizing estrogen replacement therapy for women who have already had a hysterectomy actually could have saved 50,000 lives. And that's what the researchers at Yale University have discussed. And it's primarily because of the fear that was generated by the Women's Health Initiative in 2002 that actually looked at women over the age of 60 before they even started hormone replacement therapy but those results suggested a worsening of heart disease when those women were utilizing the synthetic progestins and the conjugated equine estrogen or the horse urine estrogens. And in fact, some of the further follow up studies have shown the estrogen alone reduces heart disease, and that the problem here is the synthetic progestins. Synthetic progestins, not natural progesterone, but the synthetic progestins. And in this particular study, this corroborates that, showing that estrogen only saved. 50,000 lives. There have been other studies. A Danish study also identified the benefits of hormone replacement therapy. And they actually followed these women over 10 years during the times when the Women's Health Initiative first came out and women chose not to go on hormone replacement therapy. There was a significant increase mortality associated with heart death in the women who chose not to use estrogen replacement therapy and a significant reduction in heart disease in those who chose to use it. And this has actually been followed further out and shown to be beneficial in the long term as well. The effect of hormone replacement therapy has been found in this British Medical Journal article in postmenopausal women to be beneficial. And again, reducing heart disease, more importantly, reducing mortality associated with heart disease in women by using hormone replacement therapy. Now, a U.S. panel has warned against hormone therapy and saying it would could be too risky. Even though it dramatically improves sleep, dramatically improves bone health, reduces colon cancer. But the problem here is that the panel looks at the synthetic progestins, which, by the way, all the studies in the U.S. have utilized the synthetic progestins, and not the natural progesterones, like have been utilized in the European trials. Synthetic progestins cause heart disease. Synthetic progestins cause breast cancer. And in fact, in women over the age of 45 using birth control pills with synthetic progestins, studies have suggested a 61% increase incidence of breast cancer. So it's very dangerous to utilize birth control pills over the age of 45. And especially what has been going on now is the ridiculous use of birth control pills for hormone replacement therapy to reduce menopausal symptoms. That is very dangerous. Now, I would have to say that the synthetic progestins are certainly a reason to avoid hormone therapy. I would never prescribe a synthetic progestin. I utilize natural progesterone. Natural progesterone reduces heart disease. Natural progesterone reduces breast cancer. Natural progesterone reduces weight. Natural progesterone helps women sleep. It's calming and relaxing. In sharp contrast, synthetic progestins increase heart disease. They increase breast cancer. They cause sleeping issues that are intolerable. They cause weight gain. They also significantly affect the lipid profiles of women and have shown to have a significant increased incidence of 
heart disease, and it robs all the benefits of the estrogen when the synthetic progestins are utilized. Not natural progesterone. Natural progesterone reduces heart disease. To get an idea of what number of people, this is the Yale study suggested by doc, the, suggested that 18,600 women as a minimum versus what they say as many as 91,000 postmenopausal women died prematurely because of the direction to avoid estrogen therapy. So unfortunately this directive that came across because of the Women's Health Initiative in 2002 was very wrong and unfortunately it's still being done today. Women are receiving synthetic progestins every day as well as the oral estrogens. In fact I had a recent patient who came in with hot flashes to see their gynecologist and was given low-dose birth control pills at the age of 46. Two months later she had a stroke. She came into the emergency room in a small community hospital in Florida and was told that she did in fact have a stroke and that it was rather odd because there were three other women who were postmenopausal, birth control pills as directed by their gynecologist to treat menopausal symptoms and they also were in there for a stroke. Now fortunately this recovered and when she started to recover about two years later her menopausal symptoms and hot flashes were miserable. So she went back to the same office this time hoping to find a more uh, newly trained and more open-minded gynecologist and in fact on sitting down in the office was uh, when was confronted with her issues of having hot flashes and menopausal symptoms the doctor threw her chart down and says you know we ought to try a low-dose birth control pill and the patient was very upset she said did you know and it's in my chart that I received birth control pills by your partner two years ago and sustained a significant stroke that I finally have recovered from and here you are offering these birth control pills to me again. Now that's a tragedy. There is really no benefit and in fact there are so many studies that have showed significant dangers associated with giving synthetic progestins in women who have postmenopausal symptoms. Now this is an interesting study that was done in bioidentical hormone debate and this compares the difference between progestins and synthetic progesterone. Again the synthetic progestins have caused increased heart disease, increased coronary artery spasm, increased strokes, increased issues associated with lipid profiles and in one study showed a 50 percent increased incidence of coronary artery disease in women are in a study, a research study that was examining coronary artery disease plaque associated with the synthetic progestins. So I would strongly urge you to avoid the synthetic progestins and to utilize a very natural progesterone replacement therapy in conjunction with estrogen. I am not happy with the progesterones that are in a peanut oil because those also have a lot of complications because women have uh, sensitivity to peanuts probably exceeding 40 percent of the patients and they're taking about 200 peanuts a day in conjunction with some of the therapies so I recommend a vegetable based progesterone. This is Dr. Robert Carlson. I felt very important to let you know that bioidentical hormone therapy will reduce
your risk of heart disease.